Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, the Lieutenant General Suchindra Kumar visited various defense industries and research laboratories at Pune. He was briefed on the ongoing defense related projects. In the picture shared by Indian Army, we could also see an ATGM missile. This missile has been designed to be fired from Arjun main battle tank and was tested twice in the year 2022. This is a major boost to Arjun's firepower as it can now deal with most of the modern tanks unless they are equipped with APS or countermeasures. The important aspect to understand about this capability is that ATGM missile can be fired even from non-line of sight trajectories or even hit a target behind an obstruction using a third party laser designator which can be another tank, UAV or soldiers carrying laser designator. This makes Arjun truly lethal. The ATGM being developed as a part of DRDO's scanner launched missile development program CLMDP. The missile is called SAMHO Anti-Tank Guided Missile designed to be launched from MBT Arjun Tank. The cannon launched guided missile SAMHO is intended to destroy modern and future main battle tanks protected with explosive reactive armor, hardened point targets and low-flying helicopters. The key feature of ATGM is semi-active laser homing guidance. The first trial of the missile was carried out successfully in September 2020, followed by second trial in October from an Arjun tank. If we talk about the ATGM missile characteristic, it has a range from 0.8 to 5 km, diameter of 120 mm, length of 1025 mm, mass of 18.5 kg and speed of 250 meters per second. The warhead used is tandem high explosive anti-tank or heat capable of defeating explosive reactive armor protected armor vehicles. The term tandem refers to the missile using more than one detonation in order to effectively penetrate the protected armors of the adversary tanks. The missile uses micro electromechanical system or MEMS based inertial navigation for mid-course guidance and laser seeker for terminal guidance. Besides targeting tanks, the missile is also capable of neutralizing low-flying UAVs and helicopters. The target can be designated from a stand-alone laser designator or the launch platform itself. Another important and noticeable aspect about this test is the low signature of fire and the accuracy of the terminal guidance. Because of these, the designated target does not get proper warning, which in turn protects the firing tank. This will add significant punch to Arjun's capability, though Indian Army maintains only a fleet of 242 Arjun MBTs. While this is a significant development, but we all know that ATGMs are quite expensive. Therefore, DRDO should also start working towards less expensive option, which is FS APDS munitions for Arjun tank. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.